from bondage to liberty. Let today make a difference. It's not Let often you're allowed inside a Texas state prison Let your glory be revealed. to hear the passionate prayer of a prison chaplain say amen. to several rows of hardened inmates, some of them wearing caps and gowns. Come on, guys! And to witness the return of a guy who's sort of a... I'm going to get in there and get a picture with him. Come on, man. Conquering hero. Be a coffee bean. That guy talking about coffee beans is a man named Damon West. This Damon West, the Dallas Uptown burglar whose drug and theft convictions got him a sentence of 65 years. I was a bad guy, I was a scumbag, Kevin. I mean, I'm but paroled and able to drive around you know. Dallas with me just a few years ago because he found a way to change on that very first day. This is like the, the place where I was reborn. At the Dallas County Jail. If rock bottom was the day I got sentenced to life in prison, the rest of my life began in that cell up there. It's where an inmate told him prison and life were a lot like a pot of boiling water. You can become hardened like an egg, soft and weak like a carrot, or be a coffee bean and change the water and the world around you instead. The guards took notice. The prison changed around me. It became a pot of coffee. He's a motivational speaker now to corporations, to college athletic programs. He's a college professor and is a best-selling author. So we did time together, huh? Great. Yes, man. Which is why on that Monday in Huntsville, he was back in prison, signing copies of those books that are now part of an 18-week class. The inmates in caps and gowns, the very first graduates, men now motivated to be coffee beans, just like him. If I can do it, you can do it, you know? So that's good, man. We all make mistakes, and that our mistakes are not what, what define us. Joshua Robinson, convicted of assault, was the valedictorian. Congratulations, coffee bean. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. He says the simple message have a is working for him. You can be that coffee bean. You can transform the people around you, you know, by transforming yourself first and foremost, you know? Cameron Magruder from Fort Worth, serving nine years for robbery. Hey man, congratulations brother. <laughs> I'm a different guy right now. Promises the wife who got to see him graduate that a coffee bean is what he plans to be when he finally goes home. If you add me well, am I ready? I say 10 times old, 10 times, I'm ready. The inmates got inspiration too from Lunda Wells, the tight end coach for the Dallas Cowboys. May God bless you guys, may God keep you guys, keep going. Damon invited him because he just happens to have a college criminal justice degree, too. Every morning that I get up, I say one prayer. It's As for prayer former inmate number 1585689, who watched the graduates hand his books to the next incoming class of inmates. And Kevin, just to be one of those tools now, I get to be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. Which his success was. story and this program may spread to every TDCJ prison and may spread to Hollywood. There's talk of a TV series someday. My call to action to you is you go out there and you go be a coffee bean. Be a coffee bean, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you. The TDCJ Thanks. will track the progress of these inmates to see if this program really works when they are finally released. Damon believes it will, just as it did for him. But to be part of the solution today, that's everything. This is the stuff that keeps me sober. They believe in me, and, and I won't, you know, I won't misuse that belief that a few more reformed coffee beans will soon be headed home. We're getting a coffee bean on three, guys. Y'all ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Coffee beans! <laughs> All right, good job, guys. All right. At the Wynn Unit in Huntsville, I'm Kevin Reese.